Video presented to you by Unique to Billions e-learning. Please subscribe it and press the bell icon. In this video, we are going to calculate mode of grouped data. Class 10 Mathematics, Chapter 14, Statistics, Exercise 14.2. Question number 2 in the exercise. The following data gives the information on the observed lifetimes in hours of 225 electrical components. Determine the model lifetime of the components. We know the formula for mode of a grouped data is equal to L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H, where L is the lower limit of model class, F1 frequency of model class, F0 frequency of class preceding the model class, F2 frequency of class succeeding the model class and h the class size or class width so our first aim is to find the model class model class is the class with the maximum number of frequencies by just looking into the data i can easily understand that the maximum number of frequency here is 61 that occurs in the class 60 to 80. So, model class is this one. So, the class preceding the model class is 40 to 60. Class succeeding the model class is 80 to 100. So, I identified these classes. Now, I need to find the values of L, F1, F0, F2 and H. From the data, I can easily understand L is the lower limit of model class which is 60. F1 the frequency of model class which is 61. F0 the frequency of class preceding the model class that is 52. F2 is the frequency of class succeeding the model class that is 38. H is the class width I can easily calculate 20 minus 0 is 20 and I have to see whether the class width are equal it is equal here that is 40 minus 20 is 20 60 minus 40 is 20 and like that so now I can apply the values in the formula I will get mod is equal to 60 plus 61 minus 52 divided by 2 into 61 minus 52 minus 38 into h. h is 20 here. I can solve it to find the value of mod. That is 60 plus 61 minus 52 is 9 divided by 2 into 61 is 122 minus it is 90 into 20 that is equal to 60 plus 9 divided by 32 into 20 that I can calculate it as 60 plus 5.625 that is equal to 65.625.
So the model lifetime of components is equal to 65.625 hours. Let us move to the second question. Question number 5 in the exercise. The given distribution shows the number of runs scored by some top batsmen of the world in one day international cricket matches. Find the mode of the data. In the similar way, I have to found the model class here. Model class is the class which have the maximum number of frequencies. The maximum frequency here is 18. Therefore, the model class here it is 4000 to 5000. I know the formula for mode is equal to L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. L is the lower limit of model class that is 4000. F1 is the frequency of model class that is 18. F0 is the frequency of class preceding the model class that is 3000 to 4000 here and the frequency is 4. F2 is the frequency of class succeeding the model class that is 5000 to 6000 here and the frequency is 9. H is the class size. It is 1000 here, that is 4000 minus 3000, that is 1000. I can see all the classes are having equal class width. So, you can substitute the values here in the equation that is mod is equal to 4000 plus 18 minus 4 divided by 2 into 18 minus 4 minus 9 into 1000. That is equal to 4000 plus 14 divided by 36 minus 13 into 1000. That is equal to 4000 plus 14 divided by 23 into 1000. That is equal to 4000 plus 608.695. So, the answer is 4608.695. The mod of the data is 4608.695. Let us do the third question. Question number 6 in the exercise. A student noted the number of cars passing through a spot on a road for 100 periods each of 3 minutes and summarized it in the table given below. Find the mode of the data. We know the equation for mode of a group data is L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 into F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. To identify the values of L, F1, F0, F2 and H, first I need to find the model class. The model class here is the class with the maximum frequency. Here it is 20. So, the model class is 40 to 50. Therefore, L1 is the lower limit of the model class 
that is 40. F1 is the frequency of the model class that is 20. F0 is the frequency of class preceding the model class that is 12. F2 is the frequency of class succeeding the model class that is 11. H is the class size that is 10 minus 0 it is 10. I have to see whether the class size are equal. In this question the class size are equal. Substituting the value in the equation I will get 40 plus 20 minus 12 divided by 2 into 20 minus 12 minus 11 into 10. I can solve it 40 plus 8 divided by 40 minus 23 into 10 that is equal to 40 plus 8 divided by 17 into 10. This can be solved as 40 plus 4.7 therefore 44.7. So, the mode of the data is 44.7. I think you understood how to calculate mode of grouped data. Thank you for watching this video. Keep learning. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe it. Also, please like and share this video.